Hello everybody, welcome again to the Robot Steel Structure course. Now in this lecture we want to define the wind loads. So to define the wind loads we want to go to the robot. Okay? We go then to loads, wind load simulation, generate wind loads. As we show here we have eight direction. So if we have if the our structure is not symmetrical we need to define x plus x and positive direction and x and negative direction and y in positive direction and y in negative direction but our uh, structure is symmetrical so we need to define only x plus and y plus we didn't need to x minus and y minus because are the same for x plus and y plus also if we have corner like this here okay we have if we the uh, uh, our structure have corner here and the corner reciprocal corner we need to define this uh, x plus minus y x plus y plus etc so in our project in our case we need only to define x plus and y plus here we want to put the wind uh, velocity it is according the wind speed map and your country let's for example put it 25 or we can instead of wind velocity include the wind pressure here the robot ensure that all the element to uh, to uh, to apply the wind exposure on all the element and uh, here if we have opening opening on the gliding the robot uh, put them as closed wind flow okay now we can put start so the robot began to generate the wind load first of all the load uh, the robot automatically put meshing then began to simul simulation okay we can show here the simulation here we have principle x load and x direction wind load and x direction So now the robot automatically began with the simulation of wind load. We will return the same method NY plus. So wind simulation complete, we press OK. Now the same method, same steps NY plus start. Now we can show here that the wind load are in y direction. So the robot terminate from uh, generate the wind load and the y direction. We can show the, the load here. Wind simulation x plus and y plus and the load cases. Thank you for listening. We will continue in the next lecture.